Hi students, I hope you're doing well. Today, uh, like uh, you already know, that we're going to talk about transactional versus transformational leadership. So what is the difference between transactional versus transformational leadership? Uh, we've already covered most of the things in the lesson, but uh, through this presentation, I would like to inform you about some of the more aspects of uh, the transactional versus transformational leadership through this video presentation that what exactly is the difference um, so we're going to talk about this transactional versus transformational leadership bit by bit okay so let's start with what is transactional leadership transactional leadership is defined as the influence of a leader towards his subordinates using reward and punishment as a form of motivational medium that's what we've already uh, discussed in the lesson, that actually it is kind of an influence which is being exerted by the leader towards his subordinates. Um, using the reward and punishment system, this is the kind of system that actually he or she uses. And he or she believes that it is uh, something that with the help of which, you know, he or she uh, can bring um, or instill the motivation in his or her employees. Transactional leadership, um, like I said before, in, in uh, you know in the lesson as well, that is basically being more used by the manager managers, you know, in, in order to take or in order to uh, leverage or in order to what you can say uh, to take the maximum output from the employees. Transactional leadership is a style of leadership uh, in which the leader promotes compliance of his her followers to both rewards and punishment that's what we've already discussed that you know that if you're going to do this if you're going to achieve a certain number of uh, certain number of tasks within a certain number of time period you will get this if you won't do this you will get this punishment or your wages will be reviewed something like that so it is kind of a transaction uh, transactional agreement between uh, between the leadership and and the employees so transactional leadership is sometimes we call the true leadership style. You know, you know, there is a school of thought which say that it is a, a true leadership style because this is something which we often see in our environment. That this is something, um, a kind of an instrument, or uh, or this is like the reward system. The reward system is something which is extensively used in our society uh, everywhere. You know, needless to say that. Transactional leadership, the leader has the right to punish his or her subordinates if their performance is not according to the predetermined standards. Like we said before, that if they have the right, they, they, they think that it's going to be all right, you know, to punish them, to to reduce their wages or to punish them by some other means, um, you know, to, you know, to deduct their leaves or something like that. You know, they can do that, you know, if the subordinates' performance will not be up to the standard. Or uh, the predetermined standard is a predefined. You know, what, this is something that they uh, they say uh, they start that they actually this is the standard or this is the quality of the output should be, uh, which if not met, then of course uh, he or she should be punished. The term transactional refers uh, to the fact that this type of leader essentially motivates subordinates by exchanging rewards for performance. That's why we have already discussed. Uh, Transactional leadership has more of a telling style, you know, directing, you know, telling them straight away, do this, do that way, without consulting them, without, you know, involving them, without, uh, without, you know, uh, without having a buy-in, uh, buy-in means, you know, without having the, you know, the, uh, you know, the true opinion or, or you know, in the, in the true, um, what you can say, the true agreement of uh, uh, the true agreement of the employees you know this is something not right but this is something more authoritative approach which is being used by the transactional leaders so qualities of transactional leadership some of this is passive obviously because it is not active because once you're going to say uh, that you are supposed to do this then of course you're going to do this contingent reward and management by exception that's what we already discussed in that the rewards are contingent upon uh, certain type of you know um, certain type you know certain level of achievement if you do, if you're going to achieve contingent means dependent if you if you are going to um, you know if you're going to achieve something then it will be contingent reward and punishment 
directive and action oriented you know telling them you know authoritative uh, you can say dictatorial uh, type of leaderships and they i mean these type of leaders are willing to work within existing systems and negotiate to attain goals of the organization they just say that okay we're working within the system let's not change the system and let's try to achieve the given goals but which have been given by the senior management they, they think um you know within the box they don't think out of the box so advantages um what are the advantages rewards and incentives you know you know employees can be uh, you know the employees can be rewarded they can be incentivized and the structure is very clear if you're going to do this you're going to achieve this if you won't be able to achieve certain tasks then of course you will be penalized and uh, it's short term goal uh, you know um, these are the advantages you know for obviously uh, <coughs> in every organization we have for short term goals and long term goals for the short term assignments and and any task you know this is a perfect type of leadership style which can be adopted by the leaders and the controlled rewards mm, you know we can control rewards it's not something that you know if you're going to achieve a task at a certain time and with certain quality but if it is not according to the predetermined standard then obviously this uh, uh, you're not going to get the reward of course you will penalize so, so there is actually a control which works with the reward system so what are the disadvantages of transactional leadership um i would say transactional leadership <coughs> Of the leaders tend to be more reactive because they, they once they're going to say okay do this do do this task and then they are going to sleep and then they're going to be involved in their own things and without actually paying heed what is exactly happening in the market what exactly you know uh, what exactly is happening in the market what uh, the market leaders are or market leaders are doing actually and they can you know um, they can actually lag behind you know in terms of you know innovation and innovation and creativity transactional leadership also promotes a rigid hierarchy it's very simple slow to respond to and take advantage uh, this also limits its follower that wishes to engage with higher level of professional environment so th this is the, the kind of engagement the professional engagement and the personal engagement between the leadership and the employees will be um, will be declined will be indeed decline and this is a uh, um, a one very big disadvantage of transactional leadership. <clears throat> so what is transformational leadership? Transformational leadership is a different approach uh, which says that you know the I leader identifies the needed change, creates a vision to guide and change through inspiration and execute the change with the commitment of the members of the group. This is very simple like you know they they say that I, they actually want to make change they want you know keep on evolving keep on changing keep on you know bringing that sign bringing that culture of innovation in order to compete you know in, in order to in order to make sure that the company so you know stays uh, and remain competitive remains competitive in the market and practices of transformational leadership so you know there are some implications for the corporate image the implications for the recruiting, implications for the selection, promotion and transfer, implications for the development and training, leadership, education, job design and assignment, and there are some implications for the organizational structure as well. So these are the transformation, uh, some of the practices of the transformation and leadership, and uh, later we will see that how they can affect of this. So what is, uh, you know, what is what is the quality of vision actually? What, what kind of role can be played by the vision, uh, vision. Why vision is so important in transformational leadership? Because you know, I mean, these are the five big advantages that I've outlined here. That, that you know, uh, the vision says that it's a clear picture what the future is going to be looking like. You know, they're going to be thinking out of the box, where the transactional um, leaders were thinking within the box and appeal to them you know they think about the long-term interest they don't actually focus on the short-term interest of the stakeholders they think what exactly is the long-term strategy and that's you know uh, the short-termism is something that which is uh, heavily criticized in the literature and uh, you know the managers who work towards the long-term interests are the best managers are the most effective managers and they contain realistic and attainable goals they you know they make sure that the that the goals that we have uh, set for our team they are achievable and they are, they are realistic they are not unrealistic it's something that which cannot be achieved by the team it would be really stupid 
and focused, clear enough to provide guidance in decision making. It provides clear guidance to employees as how to perform a certain task to achieve something and easy to communicate and can be explained quickly. And some of the advantages, let's uh, go through vision. I told you before, the vision is very important, you know, to make sure that the company sees uh, the company, you know, um, you know, in advance or anticipate what is going to be happening in the future and how we're going to shape our current practices. So this is something very important in order to remain competitive, which transactional leadership, uh, which is actually absent in the transactional leadership. And uh, this is, uh, they inspire the the motivation system is not based, is not associated with uh, contingent rewards and punishment system. It's basically they inspire them to do this. They take their inputs, they, they involve them in the processes. So that's how the transformational leadership works. And what happens is uh, that, you know, the turnover cost, the retention cost obviously will be significantly, you know, uh, reduced once the employees will be feeling that yes, of course we have got uh, we've got uh, an ownership. We you know the managers is uh, they're, they're they're thinking they they're thinking about us. They're human and uh, they really you know uh, take us on board while making decisions. And uh, this is something that really de enhances their motivation and uh, you know bring inspiration in employees. So this is all about the corporate learning. So the corporate learning, once the you know the in this learning environment will be grown up, the the employees will be, the employees will be you know feeling that you know um, obviously you know they will be making some more improvements for the passage of time. So this is corporate learning, which will enhance uh, uh, and streamline the processes and tasks in the organizations. What are the disadvantages? Depend on the leader. You know, it is obviously if the transfer. If a trans transformational leader is there, obviously he or she can bring the change. If he's not there, then of course, you know, the employees won't be able to do that. <coughs> drilling, drilling personnel, um, power and manipulation. Sometimes it can be done, but, you know, power and manipulation, they, you know, sometimes they think that, you know, um, whatever, what, whatever the manager is thinking, uh, it, you know, in order to bring a change they can do it through power and manipulation this is something that you know which can be uh, which can be exhibited by transformational leaders and lack of check and balance obviously nobody is going to ask uh, why you have designed different so why have you uh, taken an unorthodox approach or different approach towards the work processes why have you change it nobody's going to ask the transformational leaders um, so this is more like an impression management Transactional versus transformational. So you know, I have one-on-one uh, -on -one differences. Let's talk about them. Leadership is responsive, and its basic orientation is dealing with present issues. Leadership is proactive and forms new expectation in followers. You know, this is a big difference. Um, transactional um, works within the organizational culture, and transformational works to change the organizational culture by implementing new ideas. And in the transactional leadership, we find that employees achieve objectives through rewards and punishment, which are, which are going to be set by the leader. Whereas in the transformational system, employees achieve objectives through higher ideals and moral values. So they, they think more about the moral values and they think more about the corporate uh, values and they think more, m more, about, uh, more about the other, you know, uh, more about the other moral beliefs rather than, you know, get, rather than getting a reward. Uh, rather than you know making effort just to in order to get a reward or incentive <coughs> in transactional leaders leadership we see that you know they motivate followers by appealing to their own self interest whereas in, in the transformational leadership they motivate followers by encouraging them to put group inter interests first in transactional management by, by exception like we said before maintain the status quo st stress correct option to improve performance Whereas in the transformational system, they promote creative and innovative ideas to solve problems. They just don't stick to the, uh, they just uh, don't stick to the old ideas that you know. They always you know keep on, keep on improving, keep on improving with more creative ideas. Let's uh, solve this problem this way. Last year we, we uh, last year we found a problem and we solved it this way. Okay, that was the last year we are in this year so let's uh, try to solve the problem in a different way if it can be more uh, productive if, if, if it can uh, save and if, if, if 
if it can bring any cost savings, something like that. So this is basically uh, one of the basic fundamental principles of uh, transformational leadership. Leadership depends on the leader's power to reinforce subordinates for the successful completion of the bargain. Whereas in transformational, leaders create learning opportunities for their followers and stimulate followers to solve problems. So there is an example of transactional leadership and transformational leadership, which is gonna be, which is definitely gonna, you know, uh, make you, and uh, which is definitely gonna, um, which is definitely gonna help you grasp the idea of what the transactional leadership is and what how uh, the transactional leadership differs from the transformational leadership. So in the transactional, there's a coach Matthew Watson of our school's base uh, basketball. A uh, team set up rigid rules regarding uh, expectations on everything regarding the basketball team from sh uh, from showing up on time and abiding by evening curfews. The school has a policy that allows flexibility with these rules but are, connect but are concerned with all players adhering to the organization's policy. Coach Watson uses certain punishments such as running are designed for those players who do not follow the rules, although Coach Watson may be straight. He motivates his team to play and win without using fear. These athletes rely on the rules and structures set forth for the basket basketball team. So this is something if you're saying that you know if you're going to do well, you're definitely going to get a reward. But if you are not going to, um, if you're not going to comply with the you know s uh, with the rules and standards and you know the policies and guidelines, and obviously you're going to be punished. So that's how you know this is this is the leverage. This is the leverage. The reward is basically the the leverage which the transactional leaders use. The transformational leadership. Let's um, have a quick look at an example, which will make which will definitely give you a good idea about what the transformational leaders do. Mrs. Johnson is preparing for a meeting she has with the new group of counsellors in her school. She schedules a time to meet with each counsellor individually. After meeting with each counsellor, she pairs each of them with a veteran counsellor to help navigate them through the school. A few of the veteran counsellors complained about the extra responsibility of running behind the new counsellors. Mrs. Johnson acknowledged their complaints and offered an early release day in which only the veteran counselors could choose uh, could choose a, a day to leave early and their class would be covered this is like an an added advantage which is been given to the veteran um, to the veteran counselors you know because they were complaining that actually we have uh, we have to do our own tasks and then we also have to you know we have to coach the new the new counselors so this is something that we, we you know that actually we are running behind our tasks so this is like the transformational leadership and the transformational leader which is mrs johnson says that okay you, you this is like a, one advantage an early release and the work will be covered by obviously by the new counselors so this is an opportunity for the new counselors to learn and uh, you know and a relief for the veteran counselors, the current counselors who are working at the school. So this is this is how the transformational leaders work. So thank you very much for your time. I believe uh, you must have now uh, be well acquainted, will be well familiarized now with the concepts of transformational and uh, transactional uh, leadership. Thank you very much.